Hey, what's going on guys? Tony Hannity's here from LazyTechGuys.com and this is the Bing search app on Android. Now most of you probably are using Google on Android, which makes sense, but Microsoft has released a new functionality to their Bing search app, which really targets a new feature that Google announced at Google I.O. This is Snapshots on Tap. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so to take advantage of this new product, you have to first install the Bing search app. Now don't worry, it's not going to replace Google unless you really want it to. Once you've installed the app, then you can go in, sign in with your Microsoft account, which would sync all your bookmarks and favorites and everything else that you might have from Windows 8 and Windows 10 in the future. But once that's all said and done, then you can close out of that. Now to access the snapshots functionality, uh, it all kind of depends if you have a physical button or a capacitive button on the phone. I have a screen on-screen button with the Nexus 6. So for me to access this, I actually have to swipe up. And as you can see, there's the Bing logo right away. Now, one thing you don't see right now because I've already activated is um, originally when you swiped up, it asks me, do you want to use Bing search or Google search? And for the purpose of this demonstration, I clicked on Bing search and said I wanted that to be always on. So now I can just swipe up and instead of activating Google now, I activate Bing. Now you might say, well, what if I want to go to Google now? Well, then you've got the Google search functionality right at the top of the screen. Or if you've got a Nexus or an Android device that's running the Google Play launcher or the Google Now launcher rather, then you swipe over to the left and you've got Google right there too. Anyways, so to go back into this functionality, the idea is that it will scan your whole screen with pictures and text. So let's go to an article. This is an article that I haven't pulled up yet. It's about North Korea here. And if you are unfamiliar about the dealings with North Korea and Kim Jong-un, you can, very similar to that of Google on tap, swipe up and Bing will scan everything that's part of this web page and then give you functional information to that which you can just quickly click on it and go to the article or if it is a web page like a Wikipedia web page it'll go to the Wikipedia site. If you still don't see what you're looking for you can search with Bing right at the top here or you can even use voice. That's one facet of how screenshots on taps works. That's in an article. Let's just assume maybe you get an email. Here's an email that I got from WWE regarding SummerSlam, which is this Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Now, if I didn't know who was going to be there, obviously it shows me in pictures, but if I want some more information about each wrestler, because I haven't really been following the WWE for a long time, again, I can just swipe up, and it gives me all the information about the wrestlers that are going to be at SummerSlam. The really nice thing about this is that it does uh, separate it out. But I had one instant where this didn't work exactly according to plan. So this is Reddit's Instagram page, which I didn't know that they had. And this is obviously Jon Stewart saying goodbye. Now if I swipe up with the snapshot on tap, it searches what Reddit is. Not who Jon Stewart is. Now, I was under the impression that it searches not only just text, but also photos. But obviously, it doesn't work 100% of the time. That doesn't mean that this is a flop. That means that this is a work in progress. The other thing about it is this works with virtually any application. Now, I've yet to try it with um, Netflix. But I definitely know if you use it with YouTube, for example, and you're watching a music video of a band, let's just say Linkin Park, and you swipe up, it'll give you Linkin Park information. The thing about it is as a developer, you don't need to enter any kind of code into your application. Bing will just work with it. Now, as a dev, you might think that that's a little intrusive, and maybe even as a user, that's a little intrusive because that's not what you initially signed up for when you downloaded the initial app. But when you are using the Bing search app and when you download the Bing search app, it clearly states in the permissions as to what it's going to ask for. And because it doesn't ask for any additional code like Google now on tap will, it is a little bit wonky. Like 
example, I want to know more about Jon Stewart, how he became as popular and famous as he is now, but it's telling me about Reddit. I'm not saying that the Google Now on tap functionality would be better, but it might. And we're still a, will, a little bit of ways to, uh, from seeing exactly how that would work. I did find this to be kind of useful. And if Google Now on tap is anywhere similar to this, I wouldn't say it's a home run hit, but you never know. It could be useful in those trying times. So let us know what you think about this and what you think that Google might do better than what Microsoft has done. And also, if you feel like it, let us know what you think about Microsoft doing all these things on other platforms. Does it, does it bother you? Are you excited? Let us know what you think. Comment section, like this video, subscribe, and we will talk to you guys later. Peace.